hello once again you are more than welcome to our youtube channel queen rami talks guys thank you so much for all the love that we are receiving on our channel it is so amazing to watch and if you are by any chance watching us for the very first time kindly do consider subscribing and hit on that notification bell so that you do not miss any of our videos and to our returning subbies, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And there's no time to get tired. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> we really do appreciate your time, your likes, your comments, and even when you share our videos. Um, as you saw on the title of the video, Hebatung. The ambassador of love, Hevatung, Miss LVM, Hevatung, telling people not to get married. What's happening? <laughs> Is she seeing flames? Is she ah uh, uh? Is it rocky? <laughs> but yeah, as you saw in the title of the video, um, do not get married. And the question is, has my tune changed? Because those who know me, they know I vouch for love. I vouch for healthy love, you know. I'm all about Bona. Not a perfect life or not a perfect marriage or a perfect relationship, but a healthy one. 90% most of the time there should be joy rather than sadness. If sadness overpowers the joy, then it's about time to overlook um the decision that you made to be with that specific person so yeah let's talk now um do not get married if you know and this just a disclaimer this is nothing personal it's just me looking at the high rate of divorce and understanding that it's abnormal it's out of order and also humbly saying that there is nobody who gets married to divorce you know um there are things that can happen in a marriage setup that are not right that can cause people to divorce even the bible has given grounds for people to can separate um with with their spouses given certain conditions that god has said in the word of god and obviously yeah my my source is the bible you know so if you want to know what are those you can just read your bible Anyway, my video honestly is um, motivated by the current um, uh, saga, let me just say saga, that happened between um, Matthew Booth and the wife, you know. And I think the last time we heard about it, it was a matter of um, Matthew Booth coming out with a statement. And that statement honestly rubbed me the wrong way as a wife. I mean, as a woman, I asked myself, he, he said everything that he said except apologizing to the wife obviously we are on lucas we don't know what is happening privately or what has been happening between the two as husband and wife but all we can say is that it is a husband's duty to protect the wife but in his scenario we see that he is actually um apologizing and protecting the 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 lady in question you know and that was a shock to many of us so yeah do not get married here are some of the um the ifs that i gathered for myself this is not a marriage counseling this is not a whatever we are just having a conversation so number one as, a, as an individual you know and this goes also to my single ladies you know I wish many of you can watch this video before you make the decision of, of um, committing for the rest of your life with someone. Remember, when we enter a marriage setup, all of us, we enter with the mindset that it will be a lifetime. So it's not something that you should do out of um, being uncertain, you know, being double-minded. The Bible says a double-minded is unstable in all its ways. You know and it should not ex expect anything from the lord so do not get married number one if you you just feel like you are not sure 
which is the point that I just made the reference in the scripture, being a double minded person. You know, you are just not sure if the decision that you are making is the right one. Because the minute you commit, like I said, it's a lifetime decision. You know, you are literally saying not to only yourself, but to God and to your family that, you know what, I want to commit to this person. So if you are not sure, it is better to marry late than to marry wrong. You know, I hope I'm making sense. It's better to even marry later in life and be sure that is what you want. You know, rather than to go with those uncertain thoughts, uncertain about the person you're committing to. And then when life starts to, to show you what it's made of, then you cannot even handle it. Because as much as one thing I've, that I've seen, there's a beauty in, in marriage, but there's also things that come with it that require a sober mind. So marry only if you are having a sober mind. Do not marry if you are uncertain. Uh, my other point, do not marry if you don't know who you are. That goes specifically for women. You know, it is very, very important to find yourself. You know, I today I sit down and I thank God that he actually did take the time for me to get married so that I would know who I am. I would know what I stand up for. I would know what I want and what I do not want. That has helped me a lot in being the person that I am today. So don't marry if you are just not sure of who you are. I mean, when we are growing up, we are still trying to find ourselves. I mean, even now at my age, I'm 33 this year, and I still say I'm still finding myself. But I'm at a different space in my mind of finding myself. I literally know who I am. I literally know who God says I am. I can literally do what God says I can do. That is why I believe with all my heart that I can stand up to be Mr. LVM's wife, you know. So don't, do not get married if you just don't know who you are. Find yourself, you know, find the things that you like. Find the things that makes you happy. So that when you, you partner with someone, you don't expect that person to... To, to, to define you. You don't expect that person to, to, to make you feel whole because wholeness must come from within. Whole, the true definition of who you are must come from within and also from the word of God. Yeah. I'm speaking gems. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So also do not, make, do not get married if you are still full of lust. You know, and last buffet, I will just say it as it is. Do not get married thinking um it will it will help you when it comes to um fornication, it will help you when it comes to multiple sexual partners. The the unfortunate part is that if you meet a woman or a partner and you still continue to be with other people, even sexually, chances are even when you are married, actually in marriage, I think you are going to double it. So you don't just get married utimula utimula a pisho ya You do not do that. You do not do that because actually marriage is going to expose that part of you. And this one we see it a lot with our male figures. And most men they just get married for different reasons, but one of them is to not even by any chance commit to their partners. You know. And I believe with all my heart, it is a painful thing. I mean, also what we saw with Matthew Booth, what he did, he was not even showing remorse. So that shows us literally after so many years of marriage um, is that he does not even care about protecting the wife, you know. So do not get married if you are full of lust. Because one thing about lust, which is L-U-S-T, it does not last, which is L-A-S-T. So lust will never get enough. It's like a, a, a tap. No matter how much you can just open a tap, that water will just flow until you close the tap. That is the same as lust. Until you yourself, you come to your senses, you come to yourself. No amount of counseling, no amount of motivation can, can tame a man or a woman who is full of lust. One thing that we need to know as people is that 
there will obviously be other people who may look at that better that you feel like are looking better than your partner they may look whatever but at the end of the day it is very very important to tame yourself okay already bricky born okay hold hold your horses especially when you decide to commit to a person you know that is literally what is expected as not only as children of god but as individuals unless you uli parakemang tatola obana ke mutsibilili bitso because i don't relate to his content parakemang mseleku yeah unless you are that one but basically what i'm saying is that last that getting married does not tame any last kurbona which brings me to my next point do not get married just because you are horny you know and just because you see a, a, an hourglass you know a, a fully beautiful shaped woman and you feel like bona this is the woman no i mean literally i posted recently on tiktok before i met my husband i was literally petite you know and now i'm i'm like Phew. okay not that voo i mean in that way you're good i'm no longer that person that i was so imagine if my husband married me because of my looks so the same goes for any other woman. I mean, women, we change. Our bodies grow. There are women with children who become mothers in marriage. And they change. So you can't just marry somebody because you are horny. I mean, sex is something that you can get it anywhere in the world. You know? So that is not a sober mind to get married to someone. You know? So don't just get married because you are horny. That horniness will literally last for a few 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 minutes or hours and then after you fulfill yourself the reality of life is still looking at you in the eye so that is literally what i mean do not get married just because you're horny even for us women you know some women they're like ah i want kids in marriage hey that's a beautiful thing but that should not only be the reason why you are getting married because after the kids are there the reality of who you married will start to hit you in the eye and when you look at yourself you're like ah it's the same as um you know which is my next point do not get married to somebody that you can see very well that this person you will not be able to tolerate who they are you know and i'm literally talking about the sense of of loving a person you know as for us women it goes with the fact that don't marry somebody that you know you cannot submit to I mean, you can see while you guys are still getting to know each other that it's hard for you to submit to a man who does not have a job or who does not have money, who does not have um, this and that. And once you see that, you should actually take a step back and find yourself before you commit to somebody that every day when you will be reminding them that ah, you are not what I want, you are this, you are that, you know. The same goes for men. There are men who, who marry women just to put them in their homes. And then once they are done with that, they run away and live their lives at clubs with their friends. That is totally wrong. For me, and for I think a whole lot of people, when you get married to someone, you are literally saying you want to spend the rest of your life with that person. Right? So when you begin to want to find fun outside your family, that is totally an error, you know? And there are things that I think as a society, we are trying so hard to normalize, which um, those things are not normal. You know, they will tell you, yeah, you still need to have a life outside your marriage. It's different strokes for different folks. At the end of the day, as much as you still have a life outside your marriage, you should know your priorities as an individual. You should know that well, my husband comes first. You should know that I don't just take decisions anymore like I used to without my husband's consent as a wife or as, as, a, as a husband, you know. So you don't just get married to somebody just because they ask their hand in marriage. No, because uh, <laughs> I almost said a certain sentence here. Yeah. You know, life will happen. You, you need to look at it in that sense. Or if something were to happen to this person today, I would still 
want to find myself being with this person. I would still find myself loving this person, you know. We are living in the times where, I mean, life life is just happening for everyone. You never know. You may marry somebody who is a who is a director of a certain company. Tomorrow that company shuts down. You must still be able to look at that person as your spouse, as your your somebody that you love that you can submit to. You know, the same goes for men. Men marry women that you love because that is a command that was given by God. Love them, you know. A woman needs to be loved in her good state, in her worst state. So as a man, do not commit to somebody that you do not see yourself loving for a long time. Because you can't afford to love a person seasonally, hey? <laughs> You know, the minute you commit and say, I'm marrying this woman, you should be ready to love them at their good times, the bad, the dry season, the good seasons. <laughs> Another point, do not get married if you are not ready to let go of self. You know, and I think that for me was my biggest lessons as a wife. Do not get married if you are not ready to let go of self. Self must die. You know, I'm not saying you must die. I'm saying your, your persona. Like, you know, it's no longer I. It's we. It's us. You know, so, so it's very, very important. Do not get married if you are not ready to let go of yourself. You know, and I'm not saying letting go of yourself, letting go of your dreams, letting go of the things that you love. No, that is not what I'm insinuating. <coughs> Okay, I do not have water here. So basically what I'm saying is that do not get married if you feel like you are not ready to let go of you, you know. You know yourself that you are somebody who prefers to just go to um, um, overseas every, every three months in the year, every now and then. And then you decide to get married. Unless you and your husband agree before time that, yeah, it's going to be a long distance marriage. But be ready to let go of self. Self must die. Which is taking me to the next point. Do not get married if you are not ready to let go of your toxic behavior. You know, entering marriage with um, the sense of, of um, get clever, you know. A whole lot of people, but it's clever. I don't think basically in the setups because yeah marriage will show you that out clever you know um um do not enter marriage setup with with that thing of you know i know it all i have it all you know and also that one of i'm the most beautiful woman on earth every man wants me oh well every man wants you up until you are single and then that's when you will see uh, uh, <laughs> they were actually wanting you just to play around with you you know, and we do have some men who literally love married women, you know, because they know uh -uh, you, you don't, you won't even be committed to them. You know, you are just, they are, they are, they are soccer ball. Anytime they want to catch you, they catch you and then they just throw you away, you know? Mm. So basically that's that. Do not get married if you are not ready to let go of your toxic traits. You know, we are we are human beings, guys. All of us, we've got things that um, that are nasty, you know. <laughs> that is why, and to each their own, I do not judge anybody on what they do with their lives. But coming out on social media and bashing someone, talking about a specific person. You know, one thing I love about me, I will come on social media and talk about people, but nobody will know who I'm literally talking about except me and that person who will watch that video, you know. I will come here and change people's names. I will change their locations just so that nobody can know who I'm literally referring to. Because I also understand that in that scenario, I also did some things that are not pleasant. You know, guys, we are more and most people who come on social media and bash their ex-partners and do all those. When you look at scenarios, mostly they are the ones who are the wrong ones in a criminal. 
you know I, i'm i'm all for don't point fingers at people because three fingers are pointing right back at you and it's just a pity some of those people that you're talking about not all of them will come back on social media and speak for their case so don't throw stones while you are living in a glass house that's basically my point so at the end of the day oh i love that i love that part you know um yeah so we are still at the point that do not enter a marriage set up with the mindset of i know it all you know i i believe with all my heart and like we always emphasize with my husband um it's a journey marriage is a process it's a journey there are different seasons where oh i'm the most happiest wife and then those seasons where you feel like oh what have i done oh my god you know but at the end of the day i am happy with the decision that i made which goes back to some of the points that i made what you need to be sober minded you know and and just because you've been with her person for there are people who are like i've dated him for seven years it's a must that we get married guys people change we change we grow you know we outgrow some things you know the person that you met five years ago may not be the same person so we need to look at those type of situations and scenarios you know so as i was still on the part where um do not get married if you are not ready to let go of toxic your toxic behavior like the press you know that thing i'm like this and that's just that 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 is just not right <laughs> you know so you you need to find yourself being in a state of understanding oh i'm no more alone you know if I was alone, I would throw the glasses and break them. But now I have a spouse. I have a partner who as much as loves me, but they can I cannot expect them to love me at this state. You know, I hope I'm making sense. No, we do not only love our partners when we are happy or no. Even in those sad moments, the bad times, yes, we do. But there are toxic behaviors, toxic, like I will behaviors of being a narcissist behaviors of uh, mental disorders where you <clears throat> you know those type of things and i say it with all humility and understanding that people are different you know bipolars we have all those things so we need to understand that when we enter a marriage setup as much as those things are there we are not going to be people who say i take you as you are no even salvation is like this we come to god as a mess but we do not stay a mess god expects us to to grow to be better people we don't know we come as sinners but we 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 strive for perfection you know we work out our own salvation with trembling you know because we understand Jorge, he doesn't want to find us as we are on the day that jesus comes back he wants to find us as he is you know so so i'm basically saying that you do not enter a marriage set i'm saying ah me i'm toxic me i come back home every in the in the early hours of the morning and my wife knows that that's not a good attitude to keep a marriage healthy that is just not healthy so as much as you are that type of a person you know this one goes for us as wives what you say you know you need to come to a point as a wife where you will tame yourself you need to just zip it up you know um you need to just shush you know and hush no matter how much you can you can want to say something about certain situations you get to a point and I especially that is the point where i see the importance of salvation in a marriage because you get to a point where the holy spirit literally you know uh, uh, you don't say that mm -mm, the very same mouth that worships god is the same mouth that says that to their partner you know yeah that's how it really is <laughs> yeah so so i'm in that space where i'm saying to you as toxic as we can be as human beings there are some situations that requires you to let go that is why we need to have counseling that is why we need to have mentors and all those type of things people that we listen to you know 
what are you listening to when it comes to marriage if you are always listening to those ladies who are always <laughs> that's not wrong but what i'm saying is that you need to be careful of what you take in because what you take in is literally going to your heart and out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak you know so so we need to look at it that way you know so do not get married if you feel like all of these things that i've mentioned you you are not ready to let them go just don't you are just not ready you know because marriage will literally expose you you know and the last two parts do not get married if you are not ready to share yourself not only yourself to share everything that you have with your partner that's literally what marriage is about that includes finances that includes a whole lot of things you know so do not get married if you are just not ready to share who you are what you are bringing with another person because the reason why we are seeing a whole lot of divorces is because finances guys finances are one of the major reasons why another way of sharing share what your partner has been through and be ready to be there for them you know and no we are not a rehabilitation center for people who are badly raised all i'm saying is that when you say yes to a person when you commit to a person you are literally taking the good and the bad but in that you are saying let me help you shove out the bad as we grow with the good you know and my last point will be um do not get married if you are still stuck up with um friends you know i'm not saying cut people out yeah, but obviously there will be people in your season that no longer match who you are and you can't keep on holding on to people that you know what it, their, their season in your life is over. But what I'm saying is that there are men, specifically most men who will literally live there, women who, who are pregnant, who just had babies in the house and just go chill with Amajita. There's nothing wrong with that, but you need to look at it in a different aspect. Uguti, Amajita will not have, give you kids. Amajita will not feed you. Amajita will not do this and that. It's literally your wife who needs you and your support. And the same goes for women. As a wife, you can't keep on holding on to friends who will encourage you to cheat on your husband, to hold on to friends who, who and you expect the outcome of a good marriage. No, those things, they matter. The company that you keep you become Bona. I, I love that scripture in the Bible that you can expect light and darkness to be in one place and then it, it, it coexists. It cannot. There is either light or there is either darkness. So basically, that's that. And I'm still here saying we encourage healthy marriages. Marriage is a beautiful thing, it's a blessing from God. It, it's 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 for some it's an achievement and i don't blame them and yeah love is a beautiful thing there is no such thing as a perfect marriage or a perfect love but it is worth having a life partner you know um some people literally become better people just because god has given them or has entrusted them with their life partners so literally do not get married if you are still struggling with those things that i've said there but if you feel like and you know deep in your knowers and you are so sure that you can be that person that god has called you to be in a marriage setup hugs shona court i'm going there don't you want to go to i'm going there don't you want to go to i highly highly recommend marriage i highly highly recommend healthy love anyway if you've watched until this far don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit on that notification bell and this is miss lvm queen rami signing out <laughs> oh god is